How do people? And welcome back to an unusual edition of the Educated Medicating Dr. D. I can't believe it, I've started filming it. I've been drilling out the next door, I can't believe it. Something new for you today, people. Something uh, unusual. First time, it's not the first time these things have been shown on my channel. Um, as some of you'll know, if you watch my channel, you'll know I'm into my trainers and stuff like that. I'm into my vintage clothing. Um, now, for some reason, I've always been Adidas. I've been Adidas, Adidas, Mac all my life. And for some strange reason, as I've got older now, I'm just going Nike, all Nike, Nike, Nike. So, other day I got a computer and I got playing and uh, I ordered myself a pair of uh, Nike ID. Um, trainers, as we say in uh, the UK, or sneakers, as we say in uh, America. So, I thought for you today, I'll do an unboxing of these said trainers. I'm not going to show you that hat yet, might get clue away, might get clue away, but uh, in here stupid, I can't wait to put the hat on. But yeah, we have further ado, let's crack in to Nike ID review. It's not a review, it's more of an unboxing than a review. But again, first time I've had these people, I've uh, made my own style of trainers. Um, Going back, this is a good throwback trainer, this one. It's for uh, a lot of people will know these, especially people who watch my channel, because there's a lot of old chaps who watch my channel. And I know for a fact they'll like these stuff. Let's just get rid of that now. Right, here we go, people. As you can see, the outer box comes in an outer box, blah, 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 blah. A Nike ID in there. So we'll just you know, get rid of that. We'll go all there. As you can see, it's a bit of a different box. It's an ID general black. There's nothing on there to say what they are. Oh, what's in what are here? The Nike, Nike, Nike swoosh, just do it, Nike swoosh. It just tells you about the logos and things like that. So as you can see, it's not your standard box. Absolutely bubble. Right, let's give him a whirl. Let's give him a turn round. You're seeing, you're seeing these at exactly the same time as me. I've not seen them. I've been waiting three weeks for them, I think. Uh, that's how long it's took me from order to get them. So you're seeing them exactly the same time as me. Here we go, people. You can see you a bit of nice paper. Oh, I've just had a glimpse of them there. They're looking good. Nice, nice ID paper there, you see. Lovely, lovely. Let's give them a turn. Oh, they're looking good, they're looking good already. Let's give them a pop, people. Oof. I've got to say, <laughs> I'm absolutely impressed with them so far, people. Absolutely impressed. They look stunners. They look absolute stunners. Look at them, beauties, people. I've got to say, I am well happy with them. Really, really happy with them. Quality, quality of them looks absolutely. I've gone for leather, I've gone for original. I'm gonna go back to a bit of history with you in a minute. I'm gonna give you a masterclass of, uh, of, of trainers from the doctor, as you can see. Now these are gonna be, now this is why I've got the hat. The hat here. Fat this gun, people. Faris Gum, the Nike Cortez. Now, what I've done, I don't know if you can see on the tongue, the dock. They are Nike the dock. What I've done, I've done now, if you know your, your uh, history on the Nike, the Nike Cortez, I'll actually go through it for you while we're here. I'll actually walk a bit down. Uh, the Nike Cortez now. I've gone back these, a lot of people on these reviews won't have these in the, in the, in the repertoire, but I certainly do. Um, in 1966, Nike used to work with uh, Onyx Super Tiger, and um, now they knew, they, they are now, is it Axis, it's something like that, Axis I think they're called, but well, Onyx Super Tiger, now these trainers have got to be approximately 30 year old, you can see glue coming out and seeping and stuff like that, they're looking Rather buggered, I'm not going to lie. But in 1966, these were called the, the TG24. 
um, and the NAC was called uh, Blue Ribbon Sports. Now, Blue Ribbon Sports was the the distributor for Ike Super Tiger out here. Now, they started, you know, selling a shitload of these trainers. Look at them, they're nice of these, they are nice. Too knackered to wear, though. Too knackered to wear. Soles are going and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, they were called the, the TG24 or Mexico, they called them. Now, it was Blue Ribbon Sports that um, that used to distribute uh, Onyx Super Tiger. There were no such thing as Nike in them days, um, until about 19, oh, let's have a look. They, again, they were making these together with uh, Onyx Super, the, the, the Blue Ribbon Sports, for the 1968 Mexico Olympics. Now, they were gonna call them uh, Mexico, they said trainer, they were going to call them Mexico. You can fit this profile, can't you? Um, but Adidas said you can't. We have the Azteca, so you're not calling them Azteca. So I think uh, for the 1968, they could they come with this. But I'm getting my stories and slightly mixed up here. Let's have a look. Right, uh, again, 1971, uh, Nike and uh, Onyx Suka started to go their own ways, they started to split up, there were a difference of opinion and stuff like that, so they went their own ways, they did, uh, and then in 19, uh, no, 1971, Nike, Blue Sports, uh, Blue Ribbon Sports become Nike, 1972, they then split away from Onyx Suka Tiger and come on their own, so as far as I know, the Nike Cortez, the first one was coming out in approximately 1972. Again, comment below if I'm if I'm wrong. I'm not I'm not saying I'm right because I've, I've only done a bit of research. But what I've done with these, the original pair come out and they were blue blue and red, but they were red swoosh, uh, blue inlays, things like that. Now I thought I'd do the reverse, so I thought right, I'm calling them the re the reverse gump or the dock. So let's try it on, people. I've got to say. Absolutely impressed with him. They're absolutely stunning. Leather, all leather throughout. I've gone that. Now I've gone gum sole. Again, I'm an old boy, and trainers for me, uh, or snickers for me, always had the gum sole. So I've gone gum sole with him. Now I've not gone the original tongue, the early tongue. Not done sure, would have just had form, you'd seen form sticking through there. I've gone for more of a modern tongue just for comfort reasons because, uh, again, I'm going to be wearing them. Again, I could have put uh, writing on back there, same as the tongue, I could have put the dock on back, but the early trainers didn't have that, they only had Nike on, so that's what I've gone for, people. Uh, I've actually gone as well. Let's try them on, we'll give them a try on. First time in a long time, I bought them last week or so. I bought myself some white socks to go with job. You've got to get it made, don't you? It's not just about the trainer. It's about the old outfit people. So you've got to get them made. Right, let's give them your, whoa. Give you a quick show and see what they look like. Huh? Look at that. Fucking champion and white. Here we go, people. Right, let's give them off. I've got to say, I'm really, really, I'm impressed with them. Really, I'm impressed. The quality of them, the the feel of them. Oh, look at them beauties. They look absolutely ball on. I'm liking them. I am definitely liking them. Again, it's good to show on foot. A lot of people foot don't really show on foot. I wish I'd have got the old Nike socks. I've got New Balance, but I wish I'd got the old Nike socks. The night with blue straps. I couldn't bloody find any in town. I'm gutted. I will find some though for so when I wear them I will be wearing uh, old job what really. I like to go full retro when I wear retro. There we go people. Absolute hooking stunners. Stunners. I've got to say I have got to say I am bloody happy with them buggers. Little kids toys there. Eh? I'm well happy with the fucking bob on them people. I'm well happy. I don't usually wear white either. I'm very, I'm very, you know, subdued with white and that. I'm going to have to shit them up a bit. I'm going to have to get a bit of muck on them. Get them, uh, you know, get them looking right. But I'm happy with them people. 
What's your thoughts, please? Comment below. What's your thoughts? I could even get them out, could I? The dock, the new Nat Cortez dock. I could have them out for sale, could I? What do you think, people? Would you be interested in buying them? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. How was that for you, people? Like I say, a bit of a different one. Oh, let me need to get that hat on. You see, again, if you don't know the story, Forrest Gump wore the Nike OGs, the originals, an OG trainer. That's one of the best OGs out there. If you know your trainers, people, you'd certainly be happy wearing them. Sure of it. Sure of it. I certainly am. I'm going to go and knock them out now in a minute. I'm going to go and knock them out. That I'll show you insole as well. Nike RD insole. Um, inside there where it feels what is it plastic leather plastic or leather leather i think in there so lovely really nice i'm absolutely pleased as punch with them people right from dr d his new pumps there we go having it people bloody having it right once again you enjoy whatever you're smoking as you're talking that's a different one from the doctor here and if you notice I don't think I swore, I don't think I swore one, so I can might be able to monetize this one. <laughs> right people, once again, keep that love in your heart. There's a few different things coming from the doctor. I'm not all about cannabis, you know. I do do other things. And again, if you're a sneakerhead watching this and you don't watch my channel usually, go back to my videos. If you're into smoking your, uh, your medicine, your cannabis, you'll be interested in this channel. Okie okay, doke people, you enjoy your day. One love. Ta-ta.